I'm back you guys, fresh face and ready to do my makeup. So I'm starting with a primer here. One of my favorites, um, dang, and I can't even remember the name. Oops, I'll list it below, I promise, I'll list it. But I'm gonna start by priming my face and then I'm using this also um, NYX primer. It's like a photo, some photo something greatness. It's all right. I'm gonna use my lip balm here on my lips so it can be all extra smooth and whatnot. And then I'm gonna also prime my lids right here. Then I'm gonna use my finishing powder and I'm actually gonna use that on my eyelid to kind of set the uh, primer. Then I'm gonna go in with some eyeshadow. It's this dark kind of orangey color, a little burnt orange in my crease. Yes, get it. I'm just gonna deepen it a little bit more because I'm gonna go ahead and grab um, that little bit darker orange to kind of deepen up the crease a little bit more. I wanted that orange to show. And I can't see what color I just hit right there, but I'm pretty sure it's just another orange. I'm just using different shades of orange in my crease to deepen, 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 and get this really nice um, sunset-y look around my eyelid. Then I'm gonna grab that burgundy color right there and again, just deepening it up because it's, it's getting a little bright in there. So I'm kind of going with this sunset look. You will see it come to form as I deepen up the crease more and more. And then I went ahead back in and set my, um, my under eye concealer. And I, I'm actually using more orange because some of it went away. So I wanted to add some of that at the top there. And I'm pretty sure I'm just grabbing some more of that setting powder and kind of like putting that in there to kind of just lighten up the area. And I'm also using some eyeshadow because I wanted that, oh, I wanted that nice arch to really pop. <laughs> so I had to go back in, make sure that the orange doesn't overtake that, um, that highlight underneath there. So I added in a little bit of that yellow color you're seeing. And I love that brush because it gives me the perfect angle, yes. All right, so now I'm just blending, 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 blending. I do not want any harsh lines around my eyes. So this is how it looks right now. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and spray some setting spray on my brush. Um, that's actually going to give me a wet brush so that I can deepen the color that I'm gonna put on my lid, which is that gold right there. It makes that color pop when you get a little wet brush. And I'm really just putting at the bottom of my lid, not anything too deep. Right before I go ahead and put on my eyeliner. And then I use my favorite mascara, Better Than Sex, just to um, get at my actual eyelashes. This is what it looks like without the lashes, with the falsies. And then I'm also going to put um, this white pencil underneath, well, uh, uh, across my waterline. Not underneath, but across my waterline. I want that to pop. And then I'm taking a burgundy color, um, some of the burgundy that I had used above my eyelid, and I'm just gonna place that underneath the white and then use my eyeshadow, I mean, my mascara on my um, bottom lashes. Now we're gonna grab this Revlon foundation, one that I haven't used in a long time, but it's getting cold, so I'm gonna use that, plus my Milani um, foundation, and this NYX liquid illuminator. And I'm gonna mix those three together to give me this glowy, nice foundation look. Here we go. I'm gonna use a foundation brush to place that all in. Then I'm going to take the one and only fawn. I'm going to use that to highlight. Same old, same old underneath my eyes, my nose, Cupid's bow, forehead. And I'm going to chisel them cheeks too. I'm going to blend all of this out with my blending spot. 
sponge. Then I'm gonna come back in with Sasha Buttercup and I'm going to set that thing. I usually don't put this much on unless I'm really going out for the beat. So I decided to go a little extra. Cause really, honestly guys, I hate, hate, hate flashbacks. So I really don't like to use a lot of this stuff. I don't, I just don't. I'm gonna use my um, foundation by Bobbi Brown there, espresso stick. And that's what I use to contour when I'm going for the ultimate beat, of course. And I look crazy now, you guys, but I hate, 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 hate when in pictures you actually look like this. So I really wanna blend this out with my blending brush. All right, guys, so this was the finished look. Some of my footage had cut out, so this is where we left off. But you guys see where I was going with the sunset look. And this lip was all right, but I just wasn't feeling it. So I ended up wiping it off and then going for more of a red. So I have Ruby Woo here. And I added a little bit of smoked purple to kind of deepen up my edges. And I like this so much better once it was done. I hope you guys did too. It came out exactly how I wanted it. And you guys, I did my own hair. I did a tutorial on this video. I don't know if I'll post it, but if you would like to see how I did this, let me know. Thanks for watching.